Well, Kevin and Sean have been very busy with a few other of the uh, style elves here at the show, um, and they have renewed and redone our beautiful bathroom. And it does look great. It did. Kevin. It came out very, yeah. very well. That wainscoting looks amazing. It doesn't it? it? You know, and it wasn't so bad to begin with. It, all it needed was a few little tweaks here and there. The the walls before they were fine, but they weren't very interesting. Well, no, now they're real fine. And you just yeah. go to HomeDepot.com. You get that beautiful beadboard paper. Done deal. We painted it in Heavy Goose, one of your paint color collections, which is great. And then over here. This is beautiful. I mean, this was nice to begin with. It yeah. was really the but black countertop. But it had that, that bronzy um, hardware, which didn't look as nice in this room as the beautiful brushed uh, nickel. It just disappeared. It really wasn't that is interesting. Great. Isn't it yes. great? The mirror, we got a bigger mirror, nice and reflective. Um, and the sconces, we took off the white shades and put the black on, so we're sort of bringing the black up. We're just yeah. sort of hitting the black every now and then throughout the And of the course, place. you know, just the way you style your toilet paper underneath and your towels, uh, it really makes a big difference. Yeah, you don't uh, have to hide everything. It's actually nice to see it open. And white towels do not, these are, are these Martha Towels, Martha Collection? They are Martha oh. Collection at Macy's, beautiful. Very nice, and, um, but, but no, really, I mean, you know, just get some new towels. That, that helps a tremendous amount. It really amount. does. But this is really this great. This is great. This yes. is the chrysanthemum drape from uh, your collection at the Home Depot. This and so it's, it's for here. a window, but it actually works beautifully yeah. as a shower curtain. It's a little bit longer, which you actually want. It's and, flocked. And make sure you have liners inside that will go inside the tub so that the water doesn't come pouring right. out. Yes, exactly. And but you can actually see, see how the pattern is oh, it's yeah. flocked. It's really white pretty. On white, yeah. And what we did was we just put grommets on it. So when you go to Home Depot, you can buy a grommet kit. Oh. Super easy. Easy, and That's you're done. That's one of my deal. favorite things to do. Grommeting. S snap. I like that. And um, these, oh, these, and oh, I guess this is. Well, that this is great. This is just, you know, you collect all of these sorts of things, so this yeah. is perfect for storage. Beautiful wire work. And you know what? We just got a couple of your old modeling pictures. People don't have to go out and buy art, <laughs> right? Exactly. You don't have to go out and buy art. Again, picking up the black. Yeah. Black frames. Really easily. And I love what you did with the mirrors. These are five little mirrors, round mirrors. Uh, that are really meant to hang on the wall, but they make very nice trays. Isn't it in good? The bathroom. Yeah. And we brought this. This is our um, the Ingrid table from the Home Decorators Collection, the Martha Stewart Collection at Home, at I home love Decorators. That. And it's nice to have a little stool. And you know, I mean, you can fit a piece like this. Where's in the, the toilet? It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> We're just joking, since this is a set, we did not install a toilet. No, we did not. A water closet. And we didn't. But we did reinstall, um, put in new towel racks. Yeah, it looks and great. And it really, it just, it really turned out beautifully, yeah. and it did not cost a lot of money. It was just no. paying attention to the little opportunities that yeah. you have. Well, it looks like a, uh, a decorator actually came in your house and did a really fine job. And, in fact, Kevin, the decorator, did. did. And Home Depot, by the way, is giving everyone in the audience a set of these great mirrors. So you can use them on your wall or on a table like that. It's so fun. Thanks, Home Depot. Now, we do have some audience members with uh, some decorating questions. And Kevin, I'm glad you're here. You can uh, help them with some, with some of their queries. Hi. Hi, Martha. Hi, Kevin. My Hi. name is Marjorie, and I'm from New Jersey. I have a small guest bathroom that's smaller than I'd like it to be. Do you have any tips for making it lighter and brighter? Mirrors. With color, maybe? Mirrors. Mirrors. A big mirror will do wonders, really. That's, that's the cheapest and the easiest and the most powerful thing you could use. So just get a big mirror. Or, or two. a couple of them. Yeah, one on one wall, one on another wall. And is it, what color is it painted? It's painted white. Does it have a window? There are no windows. So I was thinking of maybe doing something with a, a window, painting a window. Well, a, a mirror will give you a yeah. window where you don't have one, so yeah, it really does. I would and, do that. And reflective light. Make sure that you maybe hang a, a chandelier from the ceiling uh, that, that hangs in front of the mirrors. It'll make some glistening light. It'll be nice. Oh, great. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Good luck. Another question from our audience? Hi, Hi um, I'm Nina from uh, Connecticut, and we love the beadboard paper. We were just wondering if uh, it's specially treated, or vinyl backed, or how paper works in a bathroom. If there's any sort of mold, mildew, it or um, it's, separation it's a, it's issues. A, it's a vinyl coated paper. It's pro it's appropriate for a bathroom, so you just have to have the right paste and install it as the directions indicate, and you will have no problem. Thank you very yeah. much. I think you'll like it. And. 
and you can use the same uh, paper on the ceilings. Yeah, you can yeah. put it on the ceilings. You don't. You could even go up higher with it. I mean, there are oh, yeah. a lot of opportunities to sort of stretch it out and really right. put architecture where architecture doesn't exist. Right. So it's really. It's 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 a great thing, and there are a bunch of different styles. It's patterns, not just this yes, one. All kinds so of patterns. it's great. Hi, hi, I'm Ashley from right here in New York. Um, I was just wondering the backing paper that you used. Is there a special kind of paste that you need to use for it? Oh well, that's what we. It, what did you use? There's the appro. It's it's wallpaper paper paste. So once you get, you just have to make sure you buy the appropriate paste, and you're you're fine. And it's easy to mix. It's not hard. It's just ask your Home Depot. Uh, Representative. Uh, representative, and they will help you, Thank you. get the right stuff. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Those are great questions. And thank you, Kevin thank and you. Sean, for uh, really redoing this bathroom in a very, very appropriate and inexpensive and beautiful way. Great. I love it. I Good. love it a lot.